Hmm. I love me Yorkshire gold. I really do. I have a few of them during the day. Now, you know, we don't do, we don't sell merchandise or anything like that. But uh, a very nice cut, what's generally available, if you can look at that. It's narrowboat related, as you can see. And uh, I think they're very, very nice and a, a lovely cup to drink out of as well. Some of them big, you know, mugs with thick, all thick rim and all that. No, don't like them. <laughs> anyway, stop going on about Yorkshire Gold. <laughs> and we'll talk about our upcoming video. I think you'll find it enjoyable. Total switch off, because our minds were very much on the thought of less and less water in the canals and stoppages for fun happening. But an unusual thing did happen. Or is it unusual these days? We did have a problem with water, but it wasn't actually the canal. It was something else which you will see in the video when you watch. So, less of me talking now. And why don't you join us on a very relaxing cruise? See you at the end of the vid. Early start this morning for a reason as you will see shortly as the season gets busier it's always very very busy at Nantwich and we've set off in rain absolutely I, I wonder whether to just ignore weather forecasts completely because this was forecast to be a, a decent day then again it is very early and there's at the moment there's only us moving <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, a nice single night unusually just a single night stay at Nantwich we've also had the change of uh, a change of not plan but decided on this break we're taking it so easy we're not we're not looking to get to places or anything <laughs> we're just uh, we're just gonna go and have a very very <coughs> relaxing time because we you know we enjoy being in the boat as well and watching the world go by just as much as when we're cruising anyway onwards and upwards. Those toilets, not toilets, sorry, the water pressure at that service at Nantwich is an absolute disgrace. We've just give up on it because that doesn't, there's not much around for services. And considering Nantwich is so popular, oh dear me. Yeah, we're going to send a, we've done a video of the water pressure because it wouldn't even go through the blinking hose pipe it was that low. So, uh, I think we'll let CRT know for the umpteenth time because it's been bad there for ages. The rain continues to fall. Coffee, oh yeah, love coffee, thank you. Yes, it's, uh, continues to rain well one thing for certain we won't be cruising for very long 
and we'll be on restricted filming because <laughs> I don't like uh, you know I don't like filming when it's it's raining so I woke up full of vigor and let's get going and we'll have a great day it's going to be a lovely day and uh, hmm it's not been a good start <laughs> <laughs> After staying on the moorings at the Burbridge for a, a couple of days, we're carrying on. Massive change of plans though this on this trip. We've basically decided to have a total uh, a total chill out. Did we have a plan? Not much, no. We, I know we don't have many plans, but this is this is an hyper relaxing. Uh, little little trip this one I know we've got a bigger trip planned later in the in the year but this one's just uh, come out on the canal and basically do what we want without without too much uh, too much planning or thinking about things we just do what we want and these days we just love doing it like this just go and stop as and when we want without any thoughts no aims or anything doesn't half make boating far more enjoyable it really does for now we're going to be going straight down the Shropshire Union and then later we'll be coming back and turning on to the Middlewich branch just while we're here on the, on the right just past this boat moored, what's moored up on the right. There used to be some very useful services here, you know, for your for your rubbish and water. And it was just taken away. It's still in many books, but so many people come here expecting to get water and get rid of the rubbish. And you can't. Anyway, like I say, straight on, down the Shroppy, and we'll be going under the bridge onto the Middlewich branch at some point in the not too distant future. This length where we're going now down down the uh, Shropshire Union it's not I wouldn't call it a lovely little stretch of canal it's it's quite it's quite hemmed in a bit like a, some of the rivers so you there's not much to see and it can get a bit boring but what we've decided like when we was at Nantwich we give up on the water reported it to CRT and we've had we've had uh, communication back and we expect some more communication the water the the pressure's diabolical and it the place gets so busy because because of other services been removed that i can't be waiting for hours so we're going down to calverley and the gut of the services there we might have to queue a little bit but we know everything works proper there so we'll do that and then we'll go towards Bunbury where we hired boats uh, many years ago from a company called Dirtline. It's now Anglo-Welsh 
but we won't go down those locks we'll uh, we'll be turning round at the turning point just before we're going to stop somewhere to make breakfast outside because we love doing it and after that I think we'll make our way onto the middle witch that's what I think we're doing but as you know with us anything can happen <laughs> When we're going along boating, I mean, 90% of boats, I'll just have a, a 12 volt on at the front. And when you come into blind bridges and that, and you use it, half the time people think it's the car on. Because that's what it sounds like. So we always have an alternative, or always have, and we have our uh, vintage klaxon, which we use on many occasions, but at least they know it's a boat coming, because not, there's no, not many cars now have, uh, have klaxons as arms. <laughs> I think you can uh, see what I mean about the canal not being the most scenic or best to cruise when you look ahead but this part of the Shropshire Union if I'm being honest anything past um, the Middlewich branch as you go down towards Chester Personally, I think this is the worst section of the Shropshire Union by quite some distance. There's little pockets what are nice, but the majority I'm not too bothered about. And when you get down towards the Boat Museum, you're getting down that route, there's plenty of weed down there as well. But uh, if we ever go to the boat museum we we uh, tend to drive there in the car because uh, it's just not it doesn't do out for us that this bottom section but uh, we'll cruise a bit of it like I say and normally if we do go down here we prefer to turn at a place called Crystleton That'd be as far as we're, we're, you know, happy enough to go down here. But, that being said, I've got my coffee, the sun's come out, and we're on the boat cruising along, so... Still very, very content. of friends of mine 
they, they work in a shoe factory. I won't tell you the, uh, the shoe company's name, but they, they do find it quite boring. And they were telling me when they were having the lunch break and uh, having a talk, one of my mates said, you know, I'm really, really bored. I've got no holidays left. But, I think I can get a couple of weeks off. And my other friend, John, he says, well, are you going to do that? He says, you just watch me. So, when they went back after lunch to have a, you know, get back to the work, Brian said, right, watch this. So, what he did, he walked up to the side and he hung up the upside down and John was thinking what the heck's he doing anyway the foreman came in and said what the heck are you doing he says oh I'm a light I'm a light he says you are he says yeah I'm a light and I'm switched on he says, oh, he says, that's something not right with you. He says, I'm, I, I think you'll have to go home. He says, I'll have to send you home. He said, you, you need to have a couple of weeks off to get back to normal. So he got down, got his coat and went. And his mate, John, got his coat and started to walk out. And the foreman said, oi, I didn't tell you to go. And my mate said to him, I'm sorry, I says, but I'm not working without any light on. I don't know if he got the two weeks off either, or just got sacked. <laughs> Moorings always seem to be quite popular where facilities are nearby you'll not see any boats which we haven't for a while but uh, as soon as you get somewhere where you can get water easy and do your toilet and anything else you want get rid of the rubbish boats appear looking ahead I think there's quite a few uh, CRT Burgess down here. I hope they're not restricting moorings to the facilities. Soon find out. Calverley Mill Services. Yeah, I did say there's no problems there, didn't I? All you seem to do is have complaints about things. That's that's a sad fact. You know, we, we'll tell you as it is. The two problems there at Calverley just come down to incompetence. You can't say it's anything else. First one. The Elson door, which was rotting, has been replaced. Well, we went with our key to open the door. And we have it on video, which we've sent to CRT. And we'll see what we get back from them. Try to open it, not a chance. Opens everywhere else. So, somebody we know who, who was across the canal, and they'd come across to get water. They had three. BW keys and he managed to get one of them to work out of, out of the three so that means three out of four we tried didn't open the door 
good job it is final one did but that's down to people not checking it really is and the other one is even more annoying because it's so simple on the water points well the older ones they have a, a, a valve a three a two-way valve it is well three-way one lets the water to it and then you, it chooses which side the water comes out majority of people will use the one where you screw your your connectors on and connect so we did that turned on not a thing turned it the other way water very very simple that new valve what's been replaced and you can tell it's a new valve because of the PTFE tape it's been fitted and that side what we turned on to get water that had never been checked and I'll guarantee you that inside there'll be PTFE blocking it so we had to use the other side and hold the pipe on uh, to try to stop it you know it'll blow off if we didn't hold it on ourselves while we do it but why can't they do proper jobs I don't know CRT are really really struggling they really are and not all of it's down to money a lot of it's down to competence it really is right on with our little cruise now we'll finish at that point as we're trundling along like I said taking it easy and we'll continue the journey in another video coming soon but I don't know if you're interested or not in this but you can let us know in the comments if you want when we got married because it's our anniversary uh, in fact now it's our anniversary our 42nd anniversary wedding anniversary and we got our 8 milli because we had it filmed cine cine uh, film converted the sound uh, was a bit it wasn't so clever because it deteriorated a bit but we do know somewhere in our house we've got a video with the sound on which we're trying to find to get that converted but in the meantime we were wondering whether you'd just like to see not everything but a few shots of it's not fantastic video you know it's not on um, conversion you know because of the the 8 mil but you can certainly see us in our younger days <laughs> and uh, it can it brought back a lot of memories for us some very happy but some sad because we've lost a lot of family in that period which is always you know always sad but that's that's for us there but if you want to see a little bit uh, only five six minutes of it let us know in the comments and I'll put it on YouTube and uh, you can have a look at me and Bernadette in our youthful days <laughs> anyway we hope you enjoyed the video as we went along but uh, all good things come to an end and all I can say is we hope to see you very soon until then, stay safe and stay well. See you.